Christianity has been attacked and oppressed by governments and other religious groups for decades. Many believers in Asia, like this young man in Vietnam, face death threats because of their faith. That's why Open Doors could not show his face when they made this video of him singing as the deer panteth for the water. <laughs> Rather than discouraging new believers, the persecution and restrictions seem to cement many of them in their faith. One in every three Christians in Asia are suffering from a high level of persecution. That's according to a new report by the UK-based Christian advocacy group Open Doors. Its 2019 Watchlist report ranks these four Asian countries among the top 10 where persecutions of Christian is most extreme. One can't help but look at the declining Western church in all of its options, and the explosive growth of the persecuted Asian church in speculated correlations. The Pew Research Center found that between 8 and 20 percent of people in U.S. or European countries who were raised as Christians had left their faith. They simply said they had drifted away from the religion of their childhood. Amid the wealth of possibilities and preferences, people chose nothing. L. Nelson Bell, the father-in-law of Billy Graham, saw the trend coming. In a 1963 article in Christianity Today, he wrote, Many of our choices today are made at the point of personal pleasure. There is a way which seems narrow, and there are crosses of self-discipline which, when looked at in the context of the immediate, seems so unnecessary. And there are so many attractive things in the world, things which appeal to the appetites and senses and which are indulged in by most of the people around us. This present world probably dictates most of our choices, seen from the standpoint of immediate advantage and without consideration of the ultimate effect. So many of our decisions seem natural, even smart, to the world, but they are utterly foolish in God's sight. If we're lucky, God takes away our options before we get into too many bad choices. A good biblical example is Jonah. God makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Sometimes he just asks me to do things I don't want to do. But you're in a tough season right now. And you, and you have this spiritual desire. You know you fit over here, but God's called you over here. And, and you want to see this happen, but be faithful where he called you to be. Be faithful in every season that you are. Don't be that kind of grass is greener on the other side of Christian faith. Be wherever you're planted blossom, wherever God's called you. Be enjoying it. Be faithful to Him. Be at the place where you say, God, whatever you have for me, even if it is not exactly what I choose, I will do what you call me to do. You see, here's the thing. God is in charge. You're not. God tells you what to do. You don't tell Him what to do. Choosing God's options, as limited and restricting as they may feel, will always ultimately bring the greatest amount of blessing to our souls and others around us if we are willing to submit to Him.